Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to Sweetwater Soundcheck. This time out, an audio interface with specific features for guitarists. Let's get started. <laughs> Today we're checking out Axe.io, which is a new audio interface from IK Multimedia. Now Axe.io is of course a standard audio interface. It connects by USB 2.0, has two inputs, five outputs, but it has some really great features for guitar players who want to get right down and start recording their tracks. It's also set up to work very well with virtual guitar amplifiers. It has some features that will make it feel and sound much more natural to play through a digital emulation of an amp. Let's take a quick tour of the interface. As I mentioned, we have two inputs. Now there are two different places you can access those inputs. If you're plugging in a guitar, you do it on the front panel, which is how I'm connected right here. We have two quarter inch inputs and an associated gain knob for each of those inputs. On the back panel, we also have a combi XLR and quarter inch input, which can accept either line level or microphone level signals. One thing I want you to notice though with the guitar inputs is that we have some control over the shaping of what's going on as far as the input electronics inside the interface. And that's right here in this section labeled Z Tone. Now the knob actually changes the input impedance of the interface. Now this will make your guitar feel and sound more natural when you're feeding into a digital guitar amplifier emulation. As you turn the Z Tone knob you're changing the impedance of the interface. So if we turn that all the way down, to my ears it sounds more like a DI input or a direct input straight into a console or a direct box. As we roll that control up, it starts to sound warmer. Now this makes a big difference when you're feeding into a distorted sound in an amplifier emulator. We can also set up the interface for the type of pickups that we're feeding in. We have two selections there, passive or active, so depending on what type of guitar you're using, you can choose the proper one. We can also voice the input of the preamp. So in this case, we're set to bold, and what that's doing is adding just a little bit of harmonics to the signal, fattens it up and rounds it out just a little bit. If we set it down here to pure, we get a little bit cleaner, a little bit more pristine signal. It's not a big difference, it's a subtle difference, but it's enough to make a difference when you're feeding again into a digital amplifier emulator. You don't have to select the type of input that you're using when you plug into the jacks. The interface will automatically select the proper setting. So if we plug into the back, for example, it'll switch to microphone here. So we don't even have to worry about that. It's a very straight ahead interface to set up and use. The preset knob allows us to send MIDI messages to control parameters and features inside of our software. So for example, with Amplitube, you can use the preset knob to change different presets inside the software. You can also set that up to send control change messages, so you could adjust, for example, tone settings using that knob. And you can push to select as well, so you have a couple of different options there. The Axe.io features an onboard tuner. Just hit the button, and you can tune right up. The monitor switch allows us to take care of any latency issues we may run into. Now, from my experience with the Axe.io, you can set the buffer way down low with no problem at all, so I really haven't had any latency issues with it. But if you want to hear just your direct signal, you can turn all the way over, which is how we're listening now, and just hear the straight input from your instrument. Turning the other way gives us the output from the computer. Next up, we have a headphone control and a headphone output, and then we have our master output level. If we're using the back panel outputs, that would control the level that's feeding into your monitors. So we have two sets of stereo outputs, one and two, and three and four, and you can route those however you like, depending on what your software supports. Rounding out the front panel is an amp output jack. Now this is a very handy jack in the studio. It feeds the signal back out so you can reamp it through a guitar amplifier and mic that amplifier up at a later point after you've done your tracking. Very convenient for changing the tones after you've recorded a track. On the back panel, we have our mic and line inputs, we have our line outputs, and we also have MIDI I.O. The interface connects via USB 2.0 and it's compatible with either Mac or PC. The Axe.io comes with a variety of software. It has a control panel that lets you set things up, which you see right here. This is setting up the hardware features, so we can choose, for example, the sample rate up to 192 kilohertz. You can set up your direct monitoring, whether you're listening to a mono signal, one of the separate inputs, or a stereo output. You have control over levels, and so on. You can also set up the MIDI functionality. Here's that preset control we were talking about and you have two inputs for different external controllers, either an expression pedal or foot switches, and you can choose to use any combination of those. In my case, I have an expression pedal set up, and in the intro to this video, I was using it to control the wah effect. Axe.io makes a great audio interface for your guitar amplifier emulators. I've been running Amplitube here in this video, and it also makes a great front end for your DAW. In this case, I have Axe.io set up as the audio interface here in Studio One from Presonus, so I'm coming into my input. 
and going straight into the channel. Now we can insert an amplifier emulator there, any effects that we want, we can record our tracks. So it's a very versatile solution whether you're playing through an amplifier emulator or you're using it with your DAW inside your studio. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Axe.io from IK Multimedia. It's a versatile interface with great features for guitar players. You can really get right in and start recording without a lot of hassle and without having to make a lot of changes or set things up. Very quick to use, very easy to use, sounds great, compact, versatile, really great solution. Thanks for joining me for Sweetwater Soundcheck. I'm Mitch Gallagher.